Chad and Brett here at the 2015 <laughs> Westside Nut Club Fall Festival. And we're here and we're checking out the booth and we're going to get some meat wads. And they got a couple different variants here. This is booth 124, meat wads and the meat wad inferno. We're going to take you guys inside and show you how they're made. Where the actual meat wad process begins. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get one of these fancy little boats. Get your meat wads. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up and look at all these delicious meatballs oh. and this fancy sauce. Yeah, you, your mouth's going to start watering now. Meat wads! So what you do is you take four of them and you put them in the boat. So then you put a little extra sauce on it so they're good. Meat wads! All right, so what you do next is you open up this fancy thing of jalapenos. You can smell it? Oh, yeah. Yep, all right. So then you take a few of them, sprinkle them across the top, call it a day. I know I look delicious. Yep, this is where the kit comes in. So we don't want to kill anybody just yet. It's only Monday. So we're only going to put a little bit on here. <laughs> you stick a little sword in so you can fight the, like, fight the heat. So you're ready to go. Here we go. you got to get a jalapeno on it and some of that sauce. Oh. Um. So good. Uh, I'm a little nervous about hot things. Oh, me too. But these are really good. So you've tried them? Yes, of course. We taste test everything in our booth. <laughs> you firmly stand behind this product? Absolutely, 100%. Is there any chance after eating this my tongue is going to want to stop, drop, and roll? Maybe. It depends on how much habanero sauce you put on it. Oh <laughs> You're scaring me. Okay, we're going to try. That one looks good. That one looks That's good, she one. says. Uh. Wait a second. Do not judge me! <laughs> You, it's not an inferno if you don't have a jalapeno on it. I will not be judged. Do you have barbecue sauce on my lips? No, you're good. Are you sure? I'm positive. So tell folks what you guys do at Youth Resources for Southwestern Indiana. At Youth Resources, we serve middle school and high school students. We get them involved in community service. They do about 8,000 hours a year in our local community, including at our booth. Um, and we also help them develop their leadership skills. So we give them opportunities to really be involved in the process of changing the community. They develop leadership skills and meat wads right. here at the Westside Nut Club Fall Festival. Fade to black.